Welcome, friends, to Wonderful Word Wednesday. I'm Barb Nemechek. Hello, everyone. I'm Jim Nemechek. Uh, Barbara, I see we have some gifts on the table for this presentation. Yes, because this Sunday is Father's Day. So these are Father's Day gifts. Good timing. Mm -hmm. Father's Day is an exciting time. I realize, of course, not everyone necessarily celebrates the holiday. Uh, but for those who do celebrate, for those of us who serve God, Father's Day is also a good time to honor our Heavenly Father. You're talking about God. He is my Heavenly Father and yours. Even if you don't have an earthly father, or one that you don't see very often, we have God, our eternal Father. So gifts can be a fun thing to give to your earthly father. Uh, let, let's see what we're giving here and maybe try to figure out if these things are good for our Heavenly Father. Okay, you can open that one first. Oh look, it's a tie. Basketball. I think you like basketball, right? Of course. Of course I like basketball. But obviously that's not really a good gift for the Heavenly Father. You're right about that. Why don't you try this one? Okay. Gift number two. Ah, a pair of flyer socks. Um, might be fine for an earthly father, but again, not so much for the heavenly father. You're right, I'm sure. Oh, this must be the one for our heavenly father then. Okay. Oh, for two so far. Oh, a mug. Not just any mug. A who's on first mug? Baseball. Yeah. But I think we struck out. Yeah. One, two, three. We're out. I don't think that's good for Heavenly Father either. Well, I think I do have a clue, though. What might be the perfect gift for our Heavenly Father? I think... Do in, tell. <laughs> well, it's in the Bible. It says in the Bible in Mark chapter 12, verses 30 to 31 says, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. I think there's actually a second gift that we can tag on to that, which is love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Mm -hmm. Yes, those two gifts would indeed make God very happy. Let's all work on giving our Heavenly Father these gifts of love. We are God's children, of course, and God loves us, similar to the way dads love their kids. Well, maybe that's not entirely right. Dads on earth are human, and being human, of course, they can make mistakes. And being human, we're all sinners. And dads do occasionally make mistakes by something they may say or do that they didn't necessarily mean. But just like us, you know, dads are sinners as well. But God, of course, is perfect and does not sin. You see, as much as your parents love you, God loves you even more. When we pray to God, he gives us good things because he loves us like our parents do, but only better. He loves us perfectly. Now, I'd, I'd like to take a moment and mention that, of course, not everyone lives with their mom and dad. Mm -hmm. Some kids may live in foster homes. Uh, some may live with grandparents or aunts and uncles. Some may live in homes where their parents uh, don't know how to show them that they love them. Some people watching this, myself included, may have lost their father uh, to death. And maybe there's others who never met their father. We don't always understand the why of things. Sad things can happen and, and children may not be with their parents or their dad. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a dad no longer lives in the same house with the rest of the family because of a divorce. And some dads are not always home because they bravely serve our country and go to other countries to protect freedom for long periods of time. If we are blessed to know our fathers, we need to praise God for that mm -hmm. and give him thanks. Even if our dads are not perfect, and they're human, and they make mistakes at times, 
We need to show our thanks and appreciation for our dads and let them know that we do love them. Since dads are not perfect, I wonder why God even gave us dads. Why didn't he give us a mom and a polar bear or a mom and a kangaroo? Why are dads important to God's eyes? Those are some pretty weird combinations. <laughs> I, I think it's because dads are a reflection of God's love for us. And dads remind us of how God is that even though dads are human, dads are generally those people that try to make their family happy. Mm -hmm. During Wonderful Word Wednesdays, we share how we can build and grow our relationship with our Heavenly Father. This week, we're going to be sharing six things you can say or do to build your relationship with your earthly father. Remember, when trying some of these things, it's important to really look at the right time to talk to your dad. If your dad comes in the door and he's looking stressed or worried, that's probably not the best time to try these things. Wait until after maybe he's had dinner. The first thing that you might want to ask your dad is, what was life like when he was a little boy? You can really learn a lot about your father by asking him things about his life as he grew up and when he was your age. The second idea to get closer to your dad is to ask him about what his favorite memory of childhood is. Adults remember lots about their childhood, and most dads will have a few stories to share with you. A third thing, perhaps, is ask your dad maybe what his worst memory of childhood was. When he's done, you can offer that you're sorry that he had to endure whatever the event was. Mm -hmm. The fourth idea is to ask dad, you know, how does he get all of the bills paid? and tell him how glad you are for all of his hard work. Today there are moms who bring home paychecks too. God often gives parents a provider instinct for their families, meaning that they're driven to make sure everyone's needs are being met. The truth is paying all the bills on time and putting food on the table is very hard work. It's stressful. If you can show your dad that you are grateful it will mean ever so much to him. A fifth idea maybe is ask your dad about a hobby that he has or something he enjoys about doing that. Uh, most dads will do something besides work and taking care of their families. So whether it's something like fishing or hiking or biking or reading or maybe he's good at carpentry. Ask your dad, how did you learn to be so good at whatever this is? The last thing, the sixth thing, is to do a chore for your dad to surprise him. Think of something perhaps that your dad does not like to do and surprise him by doing it. You can make a long lasting impression on your dad by showing kindness to him. For Father's Day, give your dad a hug and try to make a commitment to try one of these things to get closer to your earthly father. These bonding ideas are a way better to give your time and yourself to your father than, than maybe a tie or mm -hmm. flyer socks or a, a cute little mug. In closing, let's remember that the imperfect earthly father can have love and compassion for his children and, and does. So how much more does God, the perfect Heavenly Father, have love for us, for you, his children? We know about his amazing love because in John 3.16 it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, Jesus, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. All of you out there listening to this and we can have a relationship with God, the Heavenly Father, by believing that Jesus did die on the cross for our sins, was buried, and indeed rose again. Once a person believes by faith that Jesus paid the price for our sins, he or she will become a child of God. And as that child of God, know that you have an everlasting Father. Amen. Amen. Let's end in a word of prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us our earthly fathers. 
Thank you for being our Heavenly Father and always being there for us. Help us to honor our fathers by what we say and what we do. God, please help our fathers and our grandfathers to set a good example for us. And you may add your personal intentions at this moment. Amen. Amen. Have a great week uh, and happy Father's Day to all of our dads and grandfathers out there watching. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Happy Father's Day. As usual, excuse me for getting close to the camera. <laughs>